Hey everyone, Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today I just wanted to go over the best ways to collect emails for your Shopify store. And so this is gonna be a done, a done through an app which I recommend, which is called Wheelio. And what it does is it gamifies the process of collecting emails. So it's a little pop-up that shows on the side of the screen and it's gonna have a little spin wheel. You've probably seen it if you're on other e-commerce sites because it's quite widely used, but it spins the wheel and gives them a discount code and they can use that to make purchases. But it makes it like a little game. They don't know what kind of discount they're gonna get. It's not purely enter your email, get 10% off. Yeah, it's a little fun to the process. So what I've done here is I've installed the app in my store. I just want to go over quickly with you guys is to show how easy it is to collect emails. And I've seen a very good conversion rate with this app across my stores. So going to my apps, I have Wheelio here. I just downloaded the free trial in this test store. So once you open it up, you can enable it and change some options. And it has quite a few integrations too, which is really good for your retargeting campaigns once you've collected that email. So I have the app open here. I'm just gonna enable it, just get rid of there. Then you have different options. So you can have your logo, your small logo, your text, and your colors. You wanna want to make this match your site. So I might give it a white background. I think that will look quite clean. So I bold colorize the wheel. I might give it a green color because I have a green logo on my website just to match that. Then I don't want this seem to have switched back. I have to press OK. <laughs> and then you can give it your text customization as well. And I might give it a little more personality, maybe spin to win, to win, unlocked, save. I'll uh, put three money symbols here just to show that they've saved, saved money today. Then you can spin the wheel. Valid for coup the coupon can be valid for a certain amount of time just to give that scarcity in there as well. So the way it works is that there are gonna be coupons available in this wheel. So I might say 10%, 20%, 30% off. And you have the ability to customize how often each ones are spun. And these are linked with your coupon codes that you enter in your discounts tab in your Shopify store. So I might call this coupon 20% uh, off, just to be a little obvious. Then it could be summer 20 as my coupon code. And I can ch then change this. I can say, I don't want this to run at all. Like I don't want anyone to win this coupon code, but maybe I want them to win 20% 100% 100 of the time. I don't want anyone to win like a low coupon, like 5%. This coupon does depend on your site and how much your stuff is selling for. You never want to do, or you might not want to do something like 80% off. You might want to say, oh, this runs at zero, but it's just going to show us 80% off is something they could potentially win to give them an extra little incentive to spin that wheel and enter in their email address. So you can also change uh, 15 minutes. I want it to expire. Leave that on. There's also a progress bar, which will show you how many coupons are claimed. This adds that extra sense of scarcity there. And finally get down to triggers and placements. So what this does is you can set when you want users to, uh, when you want this pop-up to show for users. So maybe I'm leave and 10 when they scroll off screen on desktop or they're scrolling suddenly upwards, this might signify that they're leaving the site. Or you could have a time delay. So after 15 seconds, I want every user to see this. If they haven't seen it in the last X amount of days, I want them to see this. And that, I kind of let it thought the next option here. You can say how many days you want them to see this pop-up and how many days in between you don't want them to see this pop-up. So I might say every 15 days, I don't, don't want them to see this pop-up because it might be spammy and they, you don't want to give them that discount code again. And you want to add that increased sense of scarcity when showing this pop-up. Like you don't get this all the time. It's been unlocked here. And it'll just cookie the user to make sure they haven't seen it. So the next option here is auto-inject coupons. I would recommend doing this is it lets them automatically inject it in their cart and there's no confusion there on if they have the coupon and if it's been applied. This puts it in there quite easily. The GDPR thing I would enable as well if you sell in the EU. Other integrations too like SMS bump for reminders. Messenger is quite a good one as well if you're trying to collect Messenger subscribers. There's also a Messenger only mode which is quite fast and easy to implement. Smart messaging you can do if they're logged into Facebook. You can show it if they're not. Don't show them an email instead. And this integrates with all the email services as well. So after my quick setup here, I'm just gonna click save. And then I'm gonna preview it on my Shopify store. Then it should show up if I leave it, leave it for 15 seconds, because that was what I set. But overall, you wanna be collecting emails on your Shopify store, because if you do, then you can remarket them later. Most users don't buy on their first attempt. They don't buy on their second attempt, third attempt. You really wanna get them over and over again until they buy. And an easy way to do that is through email marketing. It's an easy way to reach your customers. Customers are used to it in a sense. And you can use email, you can use Messenger. But overall, 
I guess I'm re-engaged with your store because your store is your storefront on the online web, Google, and you want them to get them back to it because when they're on the storefront, then they can finally make purchases. So on the left here, you have the coupon and I have no logo here and my text I think is white. So there it is, it's been to win unlocked. And so I'm just gonna enter my email, uh, Jamie, this is not my real email. I'm just gonna enter it in there. Try it, and it's gonna spin. So it's gonna go on the odds of what I put and I put 100 I believe for 20% off and there it is. And there's, I should really change that, but hooray. Yeah, it gives you a nice text at the end. But overall, really easy to use. And it's gonna copy it automatically as well. And you have your timer at the bottom, which makes everything, it's very, uh, makes everything clean and uh, quick and easy to understand for the user. So overall, this is my recommendation on how to collect emails for your Shopify store. And that's through using the app called Wheelio. As it gamifies the process, makes it easy to collect. Wheelio is a great app. We've got some slick integrations with all the email marketing services and Facebook Messenger and things like SMS Bump as well. So if you guys are looking for a free guide on how to increase your sales, it just takes three simple secrets. And if you want to know what those are, you just got to click the link below and subscribe there. Thank you guys for watching.